way to Acadia, Bar Harbor, Maine. This will be our first trip sailing in the ocean. There's the boat. Woohoo! There's the boat. We are right now driving through New York. We've been in New York for several hours, but we're driving through some really pretty mountains, which is a nice switch of scenery. So yeah, we're looking forward to getting the boat out on the ocean for the first time tomorrow. So unfortunately, there's no marina on this trip. She is at home with my parents, because instead of staying on the boat for this one, we're staying in a house with two other families. And there's no room for her. I also don't think she would have appreciated the 18 hour drive, which is now probably turning into 20 or 21 with trailering. We made it to Maine. Yay! Um, it is 6 a.m. right now. We got into Maine. We crossed over and probably drove another 20 miles. Um, I think we got in here around midnight. Joe drove. 17 hours I drove two hours so he killed it one nice thing about having the sailboat that is trailerable is that it's kind of like having a camper but it's also a camper that can go in the water which is nice so all we had to do was just pull into a service station and then we could go to sleep Let's see. we are here at Northeast Harbor we finally got the boat in the water hey. And we are headed out to the ocean for the first time. There it is. lobster pods that we have to try and avoid. They are all over the place up here. I probably can't even see them all on video. You don't want to disrupt any of the lobstermen's hard work. Yeah, I know you can't see them all, but they're insane. They just keep going and going and going. This must be a hot area for lobstermen. Speaking of which, there they are.
Harris Harbor. This is actually Hinkley Yacht Builders. Um, so moored out here in this in this harbor is just a ton of the Hinkley yachts. These are gorgeous boats, all of them. She's super cute. We got her this in Maine, along with many others. She had her lobster last night. Maine? Bar Harbor? Acadia is actually really dog friendly. Yes. This Didn't is know that. This is from Bark Harbor. Bark Harbor. Uh, really cute dog shop, pet shop in Bar Harbor. I might have spent more on Marina than anything else to mind. But yeah. I felt pretty bad she couldn't join us. That's true. So this is our puppy. Marina. Marina. Are you doing your mouth? <gasps> she is the cutest and we it's love her very much. She goes sailing with me. I basically never go single handing because she's with me. Hi, Bobby. She wants She's the best. <gasps> okay. She is a boat doggo. Bye -bye. <laughs> Drive, supposed to be 18 hours when towing a boat. Uh, 24, 20? 20, 21. 21. That does hours. not count the overnight stop where we yeah. snoozed. It's really awesome. You can just use the boat as an RV, just park in like a truck stop or whatever. Yeah, Joe was tired from sailing all day, so I drove till about, we probably left around 6. He got us out of Bar Harbor, and then I drove from 7 till 11.30 while he snored. I do that. You snore too. Mm. But not often. So, we got the boat home. Uh, I still have to clean it all up because I don't think I want to leave salt water and the ballast tank. I don't think I want to leave small water on the galvanized trailer. But we actually just got home, looked at the number of miles driven, 2,500 miles, 2,500 miles. I looked it up and it's actually really cool. That was our round trip mileage because apparently that is the number of miles that it would take to take the shortest distance literally from coast to coast. So. We basically drove across the country. Very cool. It was quite the trip. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time.